Mr. Speaker, I thank the member for the question. As I mentioned in Parliament on the 3rd of March this year, uh, since the uh, issue of Section 377A was last discussed in Parliament in 2007, uh, societal attitudes towards homosexuality have gradually shifted, and uh, there are currently two main viewpoints on this, on this issue and many subsidiary viewpoints. And as I said in Parliament, the two main viewpoints, on the one hand, the vast majority of Singaporeans are of the view that the heterosexual marriage between a man and a woman must remain the bedrock of our society. On the other hand, many Singaporeans, including some of those who believe in the traditional family structure, feel that private consensual sex between men should not be criminalized. The government has been and will be speaking with diverse groups of Singaporeans uh, to better understand their viewpoints. And we will consider the various views carefully and assess the best way forward that tries to balance the different viewpoints. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Ms. Hazel Poe has asked a related question for written answer at this sitting. And since this is an important issue, uh, I would like to invite Ms. Poa or any other parliamentarian from her party, basically Mr. Leong, to state her or their party's position on Section 377A. It will be good to know. Thank you, sir. Ms. Poa or Mr. Leong? Minister has pointed out um, there are two different camps with different views on this particular issue and for us uh, within the party itself we are we also have people with different views so this is not an issue that we actually have a, a consensus on at this moment in time. Minister Shan. There are many different ways of saying I don't know so I assume that Ms. Paul is saying Either the party has no position or they don't know what their position is. Thank you, sir. 